What is up guys? It's the cat's pajamas keeping things fresh as always like I do It's what I do. It's what I always do and it's what I'll never stop doing anyways This is a bit of a different commentary today. I am um, it's not about anything to do with masturbating It's nothing to do with uh, girls. It's nothing to do with uh, Me helping anyone out with any problems. It's nothing to do. You know what? Let's just uh, stop bringing up the list of what it's not and let's just tell you guys what it is today I'm gonna be talking about what I would do in a zombie apocalypse. Now, I just, I was amazed when I thought of this, because I know people usually talk about stuff like this, but I've never seen a video, I mean, I'm not saying there are no videos out there, but I just personally have not seen one myself, um, where the, someone just goes in depth on what they would do in a zombie apocalypse, and obviously this would vary on the kind of person you are, on where you live, you know, everyone has a different plan. Now, some people might have the ideal house or location to just hold off in their house. And granted, if I wanted to batten down the hatches on my house, I probably could, but there's uh, there's something that I would rather do than remain at my house. Just down the street, it's about a five-minute walk, um, is a corner store. And you might say, why would I want to go hold off in a corner store in a zombie invasion? Well, let's just hope the people who run the store are dead so, you know, I can just go in there and eat all the food because if they were alive, they probably wouldn't let me do that. Or maybe they would. I mean, in a zombie invasion, what kind of douchebags wouldn't let you in and give you food? I mean, that's just common courtesy. You just, you don't leave people out there when you got a bunch of festering, uh, hungry, dead people trying to eat you. It's, uh, it's just in the code of, uh, conduct. Code of conduct. Does anyone ever see, um, people's biographies on Xbox Live that just says code of conduct? What the hell is that? I don't, I don't get that. Uh, anyways... <laughs> that was totally off topic. Anyways, why why a corner store, you might ask? Well, the reason for a corner store is because the location of this corner store by my house is actually quite ideal. Reason being, it's like literally on the corner of two streets. It's like in an intersection, and it's not really surrounded by any housing or forests or anything. It's kind of there, and you have a good view in like a 360 degree uh, radius diameter whichever whichever freaking math term you want to use there but yeah you have a really good view of everywhere around it and the roof actually is quite flat so I can set up there with like a lawn chair uh, blasting some tunes on like my iPod dock and just like have a sniper scope trained everywhere and if I see a zombie just pop pop pippity pop his head off you know so um, that's that's one reason also uh, the food in this corner store uh, on the main floor uh, there's all the food. I mean, granted, it's all shitty food, right? Because it's all chips and all that stuff. And uh, they actually, there is a pizza store in there, but I would imagine soon enough the pizza would go bad or someone would break in and eat it all. Probably me. But eventually the pizza would run out, so I can't really rely on that for a food source. But next to the corner store, literally attached, it's part of the same building, is a, is, it's a fruticana. If you guys don't know what, fruit, don't know what fruticana is, it's, uh, I don't know if that's just exclusive in where in the area I live, or if that's um, more common, but it's basically like a fruit and vegetable store, but since I live in a town where there are a lot of Indian people, it's mainly an Indian spice store and stuff like that, god, god damn it, <laughs> anyways. So yeah, I, I have food next door, and also I was thinking I could make that next door Fruticana into my kind of armory and have weapons on the wall and maybe even have my car in there as and uh, like beef it up, put some armored plates on it, put some spikes on the rims, uh, maybe mount a turret on the front or something. I don't know where the hell I'm going to get a turret, but I mean with YouTube videos you can pretty much make anything these days. And for weapons, I would obviously bring some baseball bats, some golf clubs. Uh, I do have a pellet gun in my house, so uh, probably stack up with that. I think I have maybe 500 lead shots with that. So maybe kill 500 zombies if I can shoot really well. I don't know, just uh, just an option. Who I would bring, obviously if any of my family that are living in my house are still alive at this point, I would probably bring them. Probably, that's the, that's the key word. Obviously, I have to bring some girls because you need to have fun, right? You need to have some ladies to uh, to get along with, if you know what I'm saying. And probably my friends, just because that'd be pretty chill. And anyone else, like my like cousins and uncles and uh, other people, maybe from my school that I kind of like, I'd uh, send out like a radio transmission and be like, yo, we're at this uh, corner store. Come over here, hit us up. And if you want to stay, you're going to have to give me a blowjob. I don't know. Something, something like that. Also, 
I would have to lock down the building, so I would probably get some 2x4s and just uh, nail them across the windows. You know, classic zombie defense. And like I said before, I'd have my lookout set up on top of the roof. And also, I forgot to mention, above the actual store is... um pretty much like bedrooms and stuff because the people who run the store actually live in there so I mean already I already have like my kitchen my snack supply and um, you know my, my sleeping area living room TV area all, all this stuff and speaking of TVs I'd obviously have to bring my Xbox laptop HD PVR and microphone because I'd still be having to uh, put out commentaries as long as there is still internet connection because uh, you guys might be trapped in your basement with nothing to do so you might be like hey let's uh, log on to YouTube and check out DeCast Pajama's latest commentary and there you're gonna see me talking about how I just chopped a head off and now I'm uh, slow roasting it over my barbecue gonna eat it for lunch also I would probably bring my iPod too because if I ever happen to stumble upon some guns such as a sh shot sh sh sawed off shotgun there we go that's what I was trying to say then I would plug in my iPod uh, to, like with my headphones and whatnot, walk down the street with the music that gets me pumped up the most and just be popping heads left, right, and center of all these zombies. Now, if the zombies actually sprinted at you, then I would probably stay inside and not do that because uh, slow zombies are more my cup of tea. I would also bring toilet paper because I'd have to have something to wipe my ass with if I had to take a shit. And um, also, if I masturbated, I needed uh, to clean it up. Well, there we go. We already have a solution. Anyways guys, if, uh, if there's any commentators out there that are watching this, I encourage you to make a video on what you would do in a zombie invasion. And if you're just watching this as, you know, a subscriber of this channel, well then, um, you know, write in the comments what you guys would do. Alright guys, I'm the Cat's Pajamas. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay safe in the next zombie apocalypse, and I'll see y'all later. Take it easy. Peace out.